of this video is to demonstrate how to find where human SNPs act upon membrane proteins. And these are three steps. First you need to find uh, the, the G name of a human membrane protein. From there, from that G name, you can find the SNPs. And then there's a viewer in where you can see the SNPs in the genomic context. And there you can find uh, which amino acid the SNP acts upon and you can download the, the amino acid sequence of the protein. All right, I start with a clean slate. So um, first I go to the NCBI website, I just dug it and I go there. And we're going to look for, we need to have a gene name. So I click on the gene, um, gene database. I'm going to look for membrane protein. And um, I will, this will show us all proteins, um, G names. For example, here we have LMP1, which is a, which is a viral protein. Um, that's not what we want. We only want humane proteins. So we click on advanced. And we want a membrane, membrane protein. And the organism should be Homo sapiens. So in this way we get the gene names um, of membrane proteins known to be there in human. So the first one is SELP. Um, it's irrelevant what it does. So from SELP I have, uh, so I found SELP, I'm going to work with SELP now. From that G name, SELP in this case, find the SNPs. Well for that we go back to the NCBI website again. And we're going to look for the SNPs. There's a database called SNP. And there you paste the word SELP. So SELP is again the G name. As you can see if you search, you can see that the gene is SELP. Um, so there are some SNPs. Uh, we're going to just pick the first one, uh, but you'll see there will be multiple visible endings. So I click on um, this SNP. RS is the SNP identifier, so something like that. So we click on that and we get our report about uh, our SNP. And uh, that's not the most interesting part. Because if you scroll down, and you may overlook that, here you have the variation viewer. And this has everything you need. So we see that our SNP, I don't know which one is it, uh, is at this residue. You can already see, well, so I can't zoom. You can already see the uh, DNA sequence here. So I'll zoom in even more. So it's great, we know exactly where on the genome our SNP is. But, but we want to find a protein. Well, many people overlook that you have to click on this green bar, which means the transcripts, one of them is RNA, one is protein. Well, the red one is the protein. So if I just hover over it, then at the right, you can see that um, which protein it is. Um, especially the protein position. So it's the protein position is 639. Um, and here we can download our protein. So let's do that. Save file. And we're going to open it. So apparently this is the protein. Um, we know at which residue we should look, which is at 640. Well, where it is exactly, I don't know. But we can also figure this out because here below already the amino acids are um, displayed. So it will be something that TPGV. Let's take a look at that. TPVG. TP. Take a look. TP. TP. Oh, that's wrong. TPGV. So uh, it's here, at the V residue. So our SNP is lo located here in the protein. So in this video I've showed you how to search for first for a human G name, uh, for a human membrane protein, um, find a SNP and find a protein sequence and which amino acid the SNP worked on. Um, that was the video, I wish you a very good day, bye.